everybody, it's me, I'm Matt Halls of The Happy Show, and from Comics Unlimited, here in Evansville, Indiana. Now, many of you who watch my videos might recall that a couple of weeks ago, I posted a video about Central High School here in Evansville, and how they used the bear that I drew in 1987 for the last 25 years on all sorts of things, from posters, to calendars, to school invitations, to school ID cards, from the school stationery, to the articles in the newspaper, to, you know, even a street sign dedicated by the class of 96, which they used for well over a decade, even though that drawing on there, that wasn't the class of 96, that was from 1987 when I drew it. My drawing of this bear has been used in all sorts of things, but I have never received official credit for it. That's the drawing I did back when a teacher approached me in my senior year and asked me to draw the central bear based off the one that was painted on a mural in the central gymnasium, which still, to this day, resides there. It's like seven, nine feet tall. It's a huge thing. And the photographers like to take the pictures of the sports teams in front of this mural. And in 1987, I was approached by that teacher to draw that bear, basically, onto a piece of paper. So at the time, it was for a contest, I was told. But I guess I won it, but I was never alerted to that. A former teacher from Central, who knew about how I haven't gotten credit all these years, decided to write to the school on my behalf. Whenever he wrote to them, they responded to him just in the last uh, few weeks and told him that the bear that I claimed to have drawn existed before uh, in yearbooks before I said I drew it. The drawings that the Central uh, that Central has used all these years is actually my artwork. Uh, over the last number of years, quarter century, they have not given me any official credit for this thing, but I have never actually had them actively try to say that I did not draw my own bear. Which is crazy, because that is my drawing. I don't know why now they're trying to not only not give me credit, but to discredit me. Well, this mural obviously was somewhat based on this picture from the 1983 yearbook cover, even though the bear on the 1983 yearbook cover was not an identical bear by any means. And uh, I got the yearbook right here, and that's the bear from 1983. When I did the research, that's the only bear I could find that was similar to the bear that I had drawn. A friend of mine who watched my video, he mentioned that he knew where that bear came from. My friend Keith said that the central bear used on the 1983 yearbook cover was from Joseph Maniscalco from the Walter Foster publication How to Draw Bears. He says it's on the last page. And you know what? It is. Looks like they cleaned up the extraneous bear heads and got just the basic bear image and that's what they used. But it was lifted directly from this book. Now I decided to look around in the book to see if there was anything similar to the mural. And you know what? Guess what? There you go. There is a bear that has a similar body and pose to the one that would be used on that mural that they had painted in the gymnasium. And then if you look at this bear, the one that was on the 1983 cover, you see that its head is pretty similar to the kind of style that was used on that mural on top of that body. So basically what they did is they took the head from the one drawing and transposed it onto the body of the other drawing and then they based their mural painting off of that. And in 1987, a few years after that mural was painted, that's when they had me as a student recreate it in a form that they could reproduce on all the sorts of products and different things that they've used it on all these years. Now, I didn't know that whenever I was asked to draw it. I just knew they wanted me to draw the bear based off that mural. I had no inkling as to what the whole scoop was about. And really, only until I've done the research now did I realize what was going on. That basically, in 1983, whoever put up together that yearbook cover saw that how to draw book, thought that was a cool looking bear, I guess, and wanted something similar. When they paint the mural in the gymnasium within that same year or so, they decided to go with the other pose, but use that same bear head, and like I said, transpose one over the other. And for a few, about three years, whatever it was before I graduated, my graduating class, they had, uh, I guess, decided that they wanted to be able to use 
that image on the mural, but they couldn't because you can't take a nine foot painted mural and reproduce it in the way they have reproduced the my drawing of the bear all these years. So I was basically the cheap labor that they used to recreate this bear so they could use it in the manner that they had wanted to use it. And that's fine, except for I think as a former student, they should have given me credit. I think as an artist of the piece, they should give me credit. In the other case, you would give artists credit. You know, see, I signed the picture I drew, and they've always cropped out my signature. The president of the school board, Mr. Duckworth, contacted me saying he was going to speak to the superintendent of the Evansville Vanderbilt School System, Dr. Smith, and he did not get back in touch with me. And so I, I followed up with a letter the following week. He never replied to that. And so as it stands right now, uh, I'm being basically brushed aside, I guess, by the Evansville school system as far as getting anywhere on this matter. Uh, I've noted it in an open letter I've wrote to the school board and to the, to the Central High School, and, our, and I've said in my previous video, this isn't about money. I just want to uh, get my credit. I just want my credit for the bear. That's all. Just, you know, leave my signature on the drawing every once in a while, or... Or just give a little credit, like drawn by former student Matt Halls or Matthew Halls. That's all. That's all I'm asking, guys. <laughs> Back a few years ago, there was a website for the 20th anniversary of my graduating class. And on there, you could upload photographs and you could upload bios that updated the rest of your classmates as to what happened to you over the last few years. And I uploaded pictures from the Happy Show. I uploaded pictures about my shop and me. And, per and I also put a bio explaining about where I was in life and so forth. And I didn't make, take time to mention about the bear. Saying, well, you know, because admittedly this was a stickling point with me about this bear that I never received credit for. Just merely stated that I never received credit for it. And my, uh, my comment was never approved. <laughs> I was basically censored on my 20th anniversary school website. And my, my pictures got uploaded. They let my pictures go through, but, but my text where I mentioned that bear, it's like, shh, don't, no, I can't mention that. And then on the Facebook, whenever I first start using Facebook, there's a page that still exists to this day for the Central High School uh, people there. You know, I, it's, it's a page that if you look at the image I use for their profile page, it's my bear on that street sign I mentioned. And I sent them a friend request because it's set up like a friend page rather than a business page for some reason. I made a comment about the bear again, about, you know, well, that's the bear that I drew and never received crap for. The comment was removed and I never got approved as a friend on that page. There's been active attempts to, I guess, keep me quiet for some reason. It's silly. It's hard to believe that they would go through those measures, but it's like they don't want me mentioning a bear. But then with this last deal with the former teacher uh, that wrote for me on my behalf, getting a reply from the school where they're not only not trying to give me credit, but to discredit me, that's that's kind of annoying. This is just my chance to vent this out and, and let people know the full story, those who would care, all two of them, me and somebody else. But I just figure I'd let you know, uh, and, and this will be, uh, unless something happens worth noting, this will be the last video on the subject, but I just wanted to put it out there because at least I can acknowledge that and plus acknowledge that you know, where, where the original 1983 yearbook bear came from. Uh, I thought that was interesting. The school also took its school song from another state. <laughs> so like, there's a long history of taking stuff like that. But, uh, <laughs> okay, so anyway, that's my video for today. <laughs>